Oh yeah. Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Evie Perry and today we'll be rating Five Nights at Freddy's characters based on who I, a regular dude, would be in a 1v1 fight. And the truth is there's like way too many Five Nights at Freddy's characters so I'm not gonna cover them all in this video. There's gonna be Five Nights at Freddy's characters 1 and 2 from the first two games. But if you guys like this video enough, then I'll make another one which covers the rest of the characters. So the different rankings we have is the They Would Kill Me section for the ones that would destroy me. Then there's the They Would Hurt Me section for ones that would hurt me. Then there's a the Fair Fight. And then we have the I Would Hurt Them section and the I Would Kill Them section. This is the ones that I would decimate. They would be dead they would be destroyed they're gone they're going in the trash can as you can see i'm ready to go i'm ready to fight right now i have my wraps on in reality these animatronics weigh a ton they probably all would destroy me and kill me if they were evil and possessed or whatever's going on with finest freddy's but i'm gonna go more off of their personalities and body size and things like that i'm just kind of gonna ignore the fact that there's supernatural stuff going on here i'm just gonna ignore that okay we're, we're not thinking about that freddy first the very first character uh freddy himself five nights at freddy's the man and the truth is you know i would love to say me and Freddy would be a fair fight 1v1. Come on, you really think I would be able to beat Freddy? Freddy definitely goes into the they would hurt me section. He probably would kill me, but I'm gonna give him my all, okay? Especially because he's Freddy. So I'm gonna go everything, okay? I'm putting everything out there and I'm still gonna get destroyed. I'm gonna be destroyed, I'm gonna be killed, I'll die. Now we have Bonnie. Bonnie, this stupid friend zone, third wheel, dumb, purple, nobody cares about animatronic. Of course I'm gonna beat his ass. I'll put him in the I would hurt him section. I think Bonnie would hold up his own against me uh, enough to not just be destroyed. He's not dead. I'm not gonna rip his head off. But I'm gonna beat him up, okay? Bonnie is leaving here with a black eye and no teeth. Specifically because I hate Bonnie. I have an unnatural rage against Bonnie. I'm racist to Bonnie. That brings us to the next one, which is Chica. Chica is pretty fat. She likes her cupcakes. I guess she could throw her cupcake at me, but I'm just gonna eat it and then I'm gonna kill her and, and strangle her and beat her. And I'm so fast, okay? I'm, I'm ultimate speed level. I'm so fast that Chica would not be able to counterattack me because she's fat and I. <laughs> I'm trying to justify this, okay? I'm trying to justify this. But the truth is, like, she's so big. She just falls on me, I'm dead. Chica would hurt me. Now that brings us to the next one, which is Foxy. Oh, come on, this dude has a hook. He's got teeth. He's like running at lightning speed, Olympic speed down the hall. He's got me destroyed in every aspect, whether it's speed or strength or whatever. I'm gone. He would kill me. Now we got Golden Freddy. And even though I said I'm kind of ignoring the supernatural aspect on all of these, Golden Freddy is supernatural, okay? Like all the way. Like there's no way we can ignore that. So of course his head would come off and it would turn big and float towards me and eat me and I would be gone. There's nothing I can do. I'm dead. He goes in the uh, he would kill me section. Now we have Fun Tom Freddy and Fun Tom Freddy, you know, the funny fact about him is if you in the game, if you press on his nose, if you click on his nose in a poster, it makes a squeaking noise. So my strat here, my strategy to beat Toy Freddy is while he's standing up, he's about to throw hands. I keep purposely going for the nose punches. I'm going for the nose because I want to make it beep every time. <laughs> And if I keep doing that, it's probably gonna annoy him and, and then he would kill me more. So he would go to the David Hurtry section. Now we have the Toy Bonnie. And Toy Bonnie is like the little kid who looks at you with those big annoying eyes saying, Do you have games on your phone? Can I play games on your phone? That would annoy me so bad. He looks stupid. Everything about him just annoys me. He's like, it's like he's trying to get rage out of me. And it does get me enraged. I'm like, I'm ready to go. You know, his teeth could probably bite my ear off. My ear would probably be gone. He'd probably snap at my ear. My ear comes off. I'm freaking out like, ah, 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 And then I beat him to death. That's how it would go down. Toy Bonnie, I would kill him. Now we have Toy Chica. Toy Chica's creepy, okay? Because she got this like really sus fit. She has a cupcake that she can throw and she can take off her beak. So it doesn't matter, dude. Like the beak is sharp probably. I'm gonna throw a jab. It's gonna, I'm gonna cut my hand. It's gonna be like bleeding. And then she's gonna wipe off her mouth like, huh, now it's time to fight for real. It's not even gonna affect her at all. So my punch did nothing except get my hand broken. And now she's gonna lunge at me and bite my face off. I'm gone. She goes in the day would kill me section. Now we have Mangle. And Mangle's already kind of destroyed. I, I know there's some mobility here, okay? She could come from the walls and kill me. That's true, but if I can dodge her coming from the walls, she's already broken brace, basically. Like, all I have to do is just pull her apart. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna smash anything I can. I'm gonna try to throw her on the ground against the wall, and maybe then she'll break apart and can't do anything. But uh, the truth is, she also has the ability to go everywhere. I feel like we got both, both got advantages here. I gotta say fair fight. I gotta say fair fight easily. Now we have the puppet, or the marionette, or whatever you like to call it. I don't really got nothing to worry about. All I gotta do is keep winding up the music box. For the whole 12 rounds and then uh, the puppet doesn't do anything. I'm, I'm good. I win. The puppet has a huge height advantage, I would think, to me. I think I would hurt the puppet. It's too skinny. Okay, now we have Withered Bonnie and Withered Bonnie <laughs> I can't even throw face shots because there is no face, so either I would miss or um, I would hurt myself because all that wiring is going to go into my hands and kill me, so. Nice advantage for me is he is missing an arm and that's one less arm that can attack me. The problem is he can probably just like headbutt me and, and my face is gone. My eyeballs are gouged out. I'm pretty sure even with his disadvantage, 
probably would get the win. So I would put him in the he would kill me section. Now we got Wither Chica. Wither Chica, you know, you would think at first, nah, she can't beat me because her, her arms are gone. Her jaw is like huge and locked. She's already broken practically. She's withered. Like I already won half the battle just by her existing, but she is big. And the way she spawns in the room, like when she jump scares, where she's just like staying there T-posing, like that's menacing, okay? That's menacing. You would think that's an advantage, but I find that a disadvantage for me. That scares me. She's just gonna do a Beyblade spin and my head's going off. I'm dead. I'll put her in the day would kill me. Now we have Withered Foxy and come on, I put Foxy already in the day would kill me. So of course Withered Foxy would kill me. I was gonna do. I mean, I wish I had a flashlight on me. There's just nothing I could do against Withered Foxy. It's not gonna happen. This, this whole video is delusional, okay? But I'm not, even I'm not that delusional. That brings us to the next one, which is Withered Freddy. He just comes in and does his thing. And even with his jump scare, he kind of reaches towards you like, yo, what's up? Like, ah, uh, bro, I want to say that he, that I would destroy him, but there's no way. Like, how would I? Hey, I'm going to say a fair fight, okay? I'm going to say a fair fight. The only reason being, he's probably going to throw a punch and get stuck. And then I can tip him over and fall down and die and hit his head. So that's my way of convincing myself that I would beat Wither Freddy. It's a fair fight. Now we got Phone Guy. And the thing with Phone Guy is, it's just a guy. I don't know the lore because like, even though I'm obsessed with FNAF and I have been into it for years, I've never watched a full on lore explanation. So maybe I'm wrong here. You guys can correct me in the comments, but if, if Phone Guy is just a regular dude, then I'm gonna give myself the advantage over some regular dude who's working at a, an abandoned old pizzeria and calls on the phone at night. This guy's basically a Discord mod. He's up at night on the phone. I'm gonna beat his ass. He's gone. He's dead. I would kill him. That brings us to the next one, which is Shadow Bonnie. And Shadow Bonnie, um, I guess if I had to fight him in the dark, I would die for sure because he just blends in. He's got that camouflage, but that's just some random thought. 1v1, Shadow Bonnie. I don't know if it's supernatural. If I could, maybe if I punch him, it just goes right through and it doesn't do anything. So I'm actually gonna give him the benefit here. I'm not gonna say fair fight. I'm gonna say he probably, like, he's, I don't know what's going on with him. So he probably it would hurt me. Now we have the cupcake. This is Chica's cupcake. Come on, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna kill this cupcake. I'm not even gonna kill it, okay? I'm not gonna beat it to death. I'm not gonna like grab him and throw him on the ground and, and break him. I'm actually gonna kill him a very unique way, which is um, I'm gonna eat him. I'm gonna be gone because I ate him. He'll be in my stomach and then I'll poop him out and that's that's how I went, so. I know it's metal. I know it's not food. I kind of don't care. My teeth are pretty chipped anyways. Kinda. I'm used to it, okay? I'll just get some more chipped teeth. It's fine. Cupcake is dead. And that brings us to the very last of the list, which is Balloon Boy. And Balloon Boy, is, you know, he's so annoying. All he does is appear and say, hi, 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 hello, hello, hello. It's annoying, okay? And he's short. He's tiny. He's a kid. I'm going to grab that balloon out of his hand and bash him with it. I'm going to grab that bull that sign that says balloons. And I'm going to just, uh, uh, uh. I'm getting way too into this right now because I'm thinking about, like, just beating Balloon Boy to death. I know I'm not the only one, too. I know anybody watching who, who, who's, who's played Fanat. I know you've wanted to beat Balloon Boy to death. So let me tell you right now, if I get the chance to 1v1 Balloon Boy, I'ma beat him to death. He's gone. He goes in the I would kill him section. Balloon boy, more like dead boy. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, uh, I would love to rate more of these FNAFs, but there's just so many of them. You guys let me know in the video, in the comment section, if you want another video like this with the rest of the, of the FNAFs. But if not, whatever. Here's the different ratings we have. For the They Would Kill Me section, we have Foxy, Golden Freddy, Toy Chica, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, and Withered Foxy. For the They Would Hurt Me section, we got Freddy, Chica, Toy Freddy, and Shadow Bonnie. For the Fair Fight section, we got Mangle and Withered Freddy. For the I Would Hurt Them section, we got Bonnie, and we got the Puppet. And for the I Would Kill Them section, we got Toy Bonnie, Phone Guy, Cup cake and balloon boy dead boy because i killed him anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching remember this is all stupid and it's a joke so don't take it seriously i mean i'm just messing around here but comment down below what you want to see next and if you want a part two with the rest of the fanatics thank you so much for watching everybody as always my name is evie perry and i'll see you in the next video